Good evening, guys. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of High Top Sports. Today is LJ McCray Commit Day, where he's going to commit. Nobody truly knows. We've got 10 minutes until he commits. We're going to talk about all things LJ McCray, where we think he's going to end up here from High Top Sports, what it would mean depending on which team he went to, and then, of course, you know, break down a little bit of film if we do have some time. Over 255 people in here thus far. That's how we get the show started. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you're brand spanking new. If you're an FSU fan, welcome to have you. Georgia, welcome to have you here. Auburn, didn't know you guys existed. If you're a Miami fan, take a knee. All right? I don't know what to tell you. Take a knee and just, you know, relax a little bit. Uh, but happy to have all of you here, boys. It's going to be a good one. I've got his Instagram pulled up, ready to rock and roll. I don't feel like I don't see it being anywhere else right now. Uh, but it should be a fun one. God speed my butt. Where you been, baby? Good to see you, man. Your boys got the space suit on. Hoping for some good, good news, good news here with LJ McCray. So, like I said, I've got uh, we got a few options on here where he thinks he's going to end up. If he goes to Georgia, they're the number one team in the country. We're just adding to the list, right? Not going to be a big deal, further ranking wise. I, I don't feel like Miami has an opportunity here. Auburn might be a a, a, a sleeper pick. But I just focus on Florida and FSU, what he would do if he were to commit to those two schools. Pulled the calculator out. If he commits to Florida, that'll be 22 commits for Florida, putting Florida at 288, their point average. And then FSU would put them at 280, sliding them up into that number four spot. Florida would still be number three, uh, regardless if he commits to Florida or does not commit to Florida. So Florida has no massive change for them according to 247, but Florida State will jump from sixth to uh, fifth or fourth, excuse me if uh, LJ McCray were to head to old FSU. So got a lot of people in here, 500 people in here, ready to rock and roll for LJ McCray's uh, commit. Let me do it on the comments. Where do you think he's going to go? Where do you feel like he's going to, you know, land this evening? Uh, if Georgia does have 30 commits, I mean, that's what I'm saying. If he goes to Georgia, it's just, it's just one more to Georgia. You know, it's not nothing nothing too crazy about for LJ McCray, watching his film from Mainland Florida, I mean, this guy plays all over the football field, dude. He's playing offensive line. He's playing wide receiver. He's playing tight end. The guy's everywhere right now. It's absolutely unbelievable uh, to watch. Two bucks from Christopher. I appreciate the support, Christopher. Thank you so much, man. Let's go. I was reliable. I was re reliably told he's going to FSU. Everyone has their inside, right? There was a crystal ball dropped today for him. How legitimate is this crystal ball? Well, it's from an FSU Knowles 247, Zach Bolstein. Um, let's just look at his record here. He's 26 to 29 this year with an 89.66 accuracy all time. He's 82%. And he predicted that he feels Florida will land it. I think it's an absolute troll. Um, to be honest with you, I think it's one of those, one of those situations that I can't lose, right? If he picks Florida, I was right. If he picks FSU, then my team wins. Let's take a look at on threes, uh, projections for LG McCray, because again, they, they have had this pretty close so far, it was like 20, like 30% for uh, LJ McCray to go to Florida. And I think FSU was extremely close coming into it. And this has now changed. Florida State, 13%. Florida, 67%. This is a last-minute entry here because I promise you, earlier today, it was close. It was like 33 to like 26%. Florida was leading the way, 33. So those are good signs. Again, on three, they've got Hayes Fawcett who's creating the graphic. He tw he tweeted out some eyes earlier, so I feel like he's got to know a little something, something. We got about five minutes here, boys and girls. We're going to be, we have his Instagram pulled up, ready for him to go live. If he, if he, do, if he goes live, I don't see him going live anywhere else, so I imagine this is where it's going to be. Twitter, I've got Hayes Fawcett queued up, ready to go for us as well. So I promise you, we will not miss this. But wherever this young man goes, again, five-star recruit coming out of, uh, you know, nowhere. We talked about this on our Wednesday show with, Connor Clark talking about him, how he jumped over 200 spots in ESPN. I mean, this this kid just has skyrocketed through the ranks, which is exciting if he is to, you know, become a Florida Gator. Over 700 people in here, boys and girls. Happy LJ McCray Commitment Day. Am I right? Smash the like button if you're new here. Uh, subscribe as well. We do a lot of these commitment watch parties. This has to be the most in highly anticipated commitment thus far. Uh, I just feel like a lot of these kids have committed early, kind of got through business, handled it, and moved on. Nobody truly knows what's going on here. They really don't, and I think that's what makes this this commitment one of the more exciting ones we've had this year. Again, me as a fan, absolutely love this. Uh, I love the fact that we have this unknown and everybody feels extremely confident with which way we're going. Here's the one thing to look at, a couple things. We always try to play the hat game, kind of in, in any kind of sign. On his Instagram currently, I'm looking at it right now. 
He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine posts. All the posts, for the most part, are in regards to just him and his his offers. And then he has four posts that are kind of like him and his high school gear and his highlights. He has one post with the FSU visit. So something to notate there is, I don't know if that means anything. Could be a massive troll. Could be where he's headed. I don't, I don't know. I'm just letting you know that that's what we're working with uh, so far. The other pro to look at if you're a Gator fan or a Georgia fan is that Florida and Georgia has a bye this week. Right? So those two things are, are massive to think about as well because, again, Florida State has a game today, but Florida State game is later on as well. So there could be some, you know, that could happen there. But the pro is Florida does have, you know, a bye this week. So could it be the, 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 the good news, the W that Florida gets on their bye week? Georgia is always scary to me, especially how much he's increased in rankings. We see what happens when when guys you know commit to Georgia, their rankings uh, skyrocket traumatic, uh, drastically. So I did see that too, Jeffrey Daltrey. Good stuff there. Uh, over 800 people in here now, boys and girls. Be sure to smash the like button. It means a lot to us. Let's know that we're doing a good job. So much appreciated. Two bucks. Just say we don't know. Two minutes. Two minutes. You guys heard that two minutes. We're two minutes away. They went on two four seven. Who would have thought that it was going to be? We're blaming the kid here. It's 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 two four seven's fault. Very interesting here. That two four seven's dropping the ball. Look, they don't even have a scheduled thing queued up, which is very interesting. They don't even have this scheduled on their live for them to go live for LJ McRae. So I guess we're just going to rock and roll on Twitter. We're going to give the the shout out to Mainland High School football here in Daytona. Kudos to the to the young lady who hopped on there, or lady who hopped on there and informed all of us on uh, what was happening here today. So, nineteen hundred people strong. Welcome to the welcome to the show. Happy to have all of you here. Smash it. Let us know down the like button uh, down below. Smash the like button. But let us know in the comments where you think he's going. Where is he headed? Is it live on YouTube from Mainland High? I got nothing on that. Okay. I was like, did I get kicked out? We're still here. We're rocking and rolling here. Watch them forget to unmute themselves. We've almost got 2,000 people in here, boys and girls. Smash that damn like button. Let's go. Let's get to 400, maybe 500 likes before the show's over. Happy to have all of you here. Welcome to the family. If you guys are new, look, we do these for all commitments. So be sure to uh, subscribe, smash the like button. FSU, live on the gram. Don't play with my emotions. There we go. There we go. Let's go. All right, y'all relax. Y'all relax. Chill out. 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 Welcome to the show, boys and girls. We are waiting for LJ McCray, five-star defensive lineman, to make his commitment. Oh, my goodness, boys. 400 likes, 1,900 people strong. Happy Saturday, boys and girls. Beautiful day, people. Let's go. Let's go. This is huge, boys. Everybody's tuned in. It's a big commit. Number one defensive lineman in the country. Let me say, hey, last, last comments in the section. Like Where's he headed? Give me a gator. Give me a dog. Give me a little, your little spear. Give me the emojis. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. He looks like a gator, right? Like his, he just looks like he's going to hit him with the overhand chomp. I see no hats. Usually, we like to do a little hat science. I see, I see nothing. 
Look, I will say, if it was with on three, like if he was waiting for on three, I would feel like it would be like a Georgia or FSU. Being with 247 makes me feel a little bit better. Just doing it from what I know, just from knowledge, from being here, from, from doing this from the past. Just anything we can figure out here. He's wearing all black. I mean, the guy is, he's sealed up. There's no hats. Hey, we need 40 likes for 500. Let's get it. What's on his shirt? It's just him. It's just like it's, 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 it's his name and it's his high school stuff. I feel like I'm vibrating. 1994 people in here. Oh, this is my mom right that was here. a great year. My sister is right here and my pops is right here. Oh, yeah. I'm really where I felt the most comfortable and where I could be myself and succeed and do what I want to do, achieve my dreams. Um, really, this morning, I've been praying about it for like the last two weeks and just thinking in and self-reflecting. So really, this morning, uh, it was locked in for sure. opportunities to surround me with great people. I would like to give a thanks to my mom, dad, and big sister for going through this process with me and always being there. Thank you for every coach and every trainer that has helped me become who I am today. Lastly, I would like to thank all the universities that have been relentlessly recruiting me for the past few months. With that being said, I will be choosing University of Florida. <laughs> FSU lock, baby. Elite, 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 baby. Elite. Suit up, boys. Suit up, boys. Woo. Let's go, LJ. I told you his arm looked like he was ready to snap on him, baby. Y'all thought. Wait, what him knows that? What him knows that? What him knows that? What him knows that? How about them? Can you repeat that piece? They're trying to interview me, can't hear shit. They're going nuts. Settle in, LJ McCray um, really, is here. I just felt the most com comfortable there and we had many talks. Again, 2000 strong, baby, shoot, listen. So I feel like that's the best place for me. That's how you handle a bye week, boys. We're six and two as far as I'm concerned. Six and two. Put that on the put that on the on the on the schedule. Hey, let Billy cook. Let him cook. Um, it's definitely a blessing. I mean, I'm, I'm super blessed to be in this position. I mean, it took a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of great people around me to push me like around here But uh, I felt that, that. I mean, I always wanted to go there since I was little. So this is dream come true. Dream come true. I love that. Huge, boys. Huge. I'm going to cry. Um, they're definitely building things. You can just tell that by how hard the guys there. That's already there. And it's the past class are playing. And, uh, and the class that's coming in right now, you can definitely tell that they have something going. How about them? Oh, I mean, I definitely feel comfortable. I mean, I feel like I could call them and talk to them about anything, especially football. Those guys know it for sure. Um, well, I, 
I don't know who, I'm, who was the first guy I'm recruiting, but uh, those guys, I, everybody in the class, I'm sure I've talked to once or twice, but for sure, DJ Lagra, I mean, he's been calling my phone, texting me, and, and so is the, uh, Xavier. I mean, all of them have been blowing up my phone all week, so that definitely does my guys for sure. Hey, Xavier feels to me? Cooking. Cooking. We're going to talk about the rankings here in just a minute. I'm a little finished because I want to hear about our new, you know, he's a big defensive lineman guy, right? It's a big, big guy, big, big family. Hey, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to reach out. We're going to see what we can do. Let's go, boys. LJ McCray. Well, let's go. Appreciate it. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the family. LJ McCray is a gator. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's talk about the calculator one time. Smash the like button, boys. Whew. Watch this ranking drop. Good point, Devil Dog. <laughs> Good point. That's funny stuff. So look, that puts us at a smooth 288. That 292 number is that magic number for the Florida Gators to just have a record-breaking class would be the highest rated class of all time for the Florida Gators if they could get to that 292 mark. So now with us living the dream over here in Florida Gator land, um, let's go ahead and let's talk about Zay Mincy because Zay Mincy also goes to school with LJ at uh, mainland Florida. And we've been crystal balled with Zay months ago and have not heard. It's been quiet since. Now, will we get a package deal? I, I, I do not know. I do not know. I, I would love to think that we would. But we add Xavier to the mix, which is extremely, extremely likable that could happen. That puts us at 292.95, which puts us right at the number that we were literally just talking about. Still behind Ohio State because they're rocking at a smooth 303. But that commit with Zay Mincy, what does not seem unlikely. And Jordan Seaton, obviously somebody that Florida is still heavily pursuing. I think the that is wide open as well, too. Let's say we get the package deal with him. Let's say we add IMG. That puts that 299, still behind a hell of an Ohio State class. But if we could somehow, some way, some just sort, sweet eight-pound eight baby Jesus make this happen and land us old uh, Jeremiah Smith, who knows what would happen. But massive pickup here. And landing another five-star, that is a third five-star of this class. Xavier feels to me, DJ Lagway, and now LJ McCray. Three five-stars. I don't remember the last time the Gators landed three five-stars. And Zay Mincy, as well as LJ, has skyrocketed through the, the rankings as well. Let me take a look at his on-three rankings, because I want to say he was either close to a five-star or is a five-star. So he's still currently a four-star. Again, on on three, we are currently leading the way at 64.8. Landing LJ makes me feel extremely comfortable that the possibilities of landing Zay Minty would be absolutely possible now. And Jordan Seaton, Jordan Seaton is a five star. If Seaton, if Seaton was able to come through too, that would be five, excuse me, four or five stars that would be a com committed to the Florida Gators, which has to be uh, a massive record. So let's go take a look at Billy Napier. They said he just tweeted in the comments section. You know, Billy, Billy's off today. You know, he's chilling, he's vibing. Big W there for Coach Billy on his bye week. Ooh, with an exclamation point, boys and girls. He dropped the sunglasses with two exclamation points. Could that be a hint that we've got one more? Could that be a hint to the initial package deal? We will see there, boys and girls. Wow. Huge, huge pickup there. Huge pickup. Welcome to the show, boys and girls. Massive land there from LJ McCray uh, committing to the Florida Gators. Just ecstatic. Over 1,200 people in here, too. If you guys are brand new, new to the Gator content, smash the like button. Subscribe as well. Happy to have all of you here. Congrats to LJ McCray. Let's take a look. I'm going to pull up his, uh, hit the graphic. I got to see. I haven't seen the graphic yet. Mmm. I like it. It's clean. Take a look at this thing. Look at that. Hayes Fawcett's a beast, man. Welcome to the swamp. That's clean, bro. Absolutely clean, that is. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Absolutely massive. Absolutely massive there for the boys to land LJ McCray. Five star defensive lineman. Are you kidding me? On the bye week? Well, we've got to do a call in show now just for this. Yeah, all, all the FSU fans just. Just ran all the way home. 
to pull this one off. Georgia was making a run at the end there. Auburn obviously trying to do some work. I think the production on the field for Auburn is the reason why. Uh, Waller, I thought, was a five-star two at one point for two for seven. You're right, big piece of daddy, but I believed his rankings have gone down because at one point he was on two for seven, our only five stars. So we could be could how the season ends, those guys could move up and we could be sitting about four or five stars for the Florida Gators. So look, felt good being on the Florida's bye week that it could happen. Love the fact of how everything was just hush hush. I really do. Kudos to the team. Again, I don't know if Billy knew this or not. Maybe he was kind of on the outside looking in. If he did know, I think that also speaks volume to the that staff keeping that thing hush hush because nobody truly felt really confident. I think they, everyone thought they had an idea, but there was the opportunity that they could be flipped upside down, uh, but they were not. So, whew, massive pickup here. This this kid is an absolute beast. 6'6". Six, six, let me take a look at the size one last time. 280, essentially, here. On three, 247 has him as a five-star. Nationally ranked eighth on on three and nationally ranked sixth on 247. I mean, come and get you some of that, big boy. You know what I'm talking about? Son. Talk about a haul for the Florida Gators. Massive. And look, here's the good thing, right? Because we know how we joke around Florida drops or on three drops the rankings once they commit to Florida. Right? They just they just moved them up. So you can't go backwards now. You know, we're halfway through high school season. You can't all of a sudden just forget about, you know, what happens. Uh, this is a good point, Muddy. I don't care where we end up in the rankings. I mean, this this class alone for Florida right now, boys, is something special. Let's just take a look at it. I've got it pulled up here. Let me remove Seton and let me remove Xavier. And let's look at this class. Let's just kumbaya all this class together here for a minute, okay? Let's appreciate what we're dealing with. DJ Lagway. Mm, that's just, I mean, you, you just can't start off any better than that. Five-star stud, 6'2", 225, just slinging the rock. Xavier Fields to make 6'1", 180. We're looking at Zay Mincy. That'd be two stud safeties in one class. Then this linebacker class is just something out of the freaking just comic books, right? Adarius Hayes, 6'4", 210. Dude, the kid's a dog. I know we don't like saying that around here, but he is, okay? Got a new soundboard. I don't have He's a Gator, and I'm plugged into this just yet, so cut me some slack. Miles Graham. Love me some Miles Graham. Have Miles on the show. He, he, he hinted that things were coming. We didn't know when or where, but here they are. 6'1", 212, okay? Playing next alongside Kendall Jackson. Kendall Jackson, big boy, too. And then Aaron Child, 6'3", 220. I mean, beast. Then Jamonte Waller, they got him linebacker slash Ed, 6'2", 225. He was a five-star at one point, slipped down a little bit. And that tight end position, which I love, the tight end starting to build up with Arliss Boardingham, Amir Jackson coming in, 6'4", 223. I think uh, Miami or Georgia's trying to pick him. And then, of course, LJ McCray, 6'6", defensive lineman, 260. Don't remember, we just lost Michael Barrera, defensive lineman, who could be coming back on board, but he decommitted just a few months ago. World on Mac, cornerback 5'11, 170, four star, blue chip Billy. Amaris, Amaris Williams, defensive lineman, four star, blue chip stock. Fletcher Westfall had him on the show. Incredible young man. Offensive tackle, 6'8, 335. Then Nasir Johnson, who is visiting Florida State, I believe, this weekend, right now at the Duke game. So hopefully we can hang on to him as he's going there. 6'4, 300, another four, four, four star, blue chip. And then Jarrah Hawkins, wide receiver, and uh, Ab. Uh, so to Wask Abrams, who we also flipped from FSU, wide receivers talent. Kanan Daniels getting his fourth star. I think he was a three-star at one point. Has had a tremendous senior year in high school. Glad to see him get that four star. And then Isaiah Williams, another wide receiver, six foot 172, also four star. The four stars in this class are just unreal. Josiah, uh, then Kendall Jackson, obviously teammates with Miles Graham. I mean, this class, boys, come and give it to you one time. And then the, the offensive lineman, again, this is something that we've talked about. Their ratings are a little bit, uh, you know, conflicted compared to everybody else. Uh, but if you look at the size of our offensive linemen, 6'5", 334, 6'7", 310, 6'5", 292. Some big boys there. Josiah Davis, three-star safety, and Teddy Foster, 6'2", cornerback. So, way to bring the class together. Again, some room left to really pull this thing together, boys. Really pull this thing together. I love it. Your Saturday just got better. Me, Mine and yours both, Alex. Feels good. Feels like we're all uh, moving. We're cruising and moving, boys. Huge pickup. Huge pickup for the boys. If, if if Billy goes and does what he what people want him to do in this offseason to go snatch up an offensive coordinator, hey, babe, hey, y'all better watch out. Y'all better watch out. Seton is a priority. We got to go get Seton. You got to close this class with Seton. Couldn't agree more. 
Seton is a must get for Florida Gators. I think they get Seton. I mean, you could you could end the class like that and be like, all right, we're coming. You do a class like that. I mean, you 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 follow it up again. Huge, 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 huge. Armstrong is going to make us number one in the country. I mean, could you imagine what these kids are going to be able to do with Armstrong at defensive coordinator? For us to continue to land these these massive defensive linemen guys, I think they see what Armstrong's doing and are loving what he's doing. And if you can't watch him, like, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm excited. Nasir canceled. Did he really, Joe? Did he really? Love hearing that, boys. Over 1,000 people are still in here. Be sure to smash the like button. Over 646 likes. Good, good stuff. Yeah, next is Zay, Zay Mincy. That will be a big pool there. Boys, I mean... Hell of a show. Hell of a show here. All of you that joined us, some people who are new to us, you know, appreciate you coming in here. If you, if, you're, if you are new and you're still hanging out, welcome. Uh, this this family gets buck wild. So if you enjoyed your time, smash the like button, turn the bell on. You don't want to miss it because when we go live, we, 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 don't, we don't ever disappoint. Okay? Space suits on, boys and girls. It's not, it's not coming off. You guys, be good. It's new soundtrack. Coming to the Slack. <laughs> be good, boys. Love you. Like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.